biological clock, aging clock, using inflammation to assess health and biological age versus chronological age. It's a new type of clock which takes health and inflammation into consideration. It can be higher or lower than a chronological age. The model can also be used to predict the risk of developing age-related disorders like cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative diseases. Inflammation is treatable, and most of all, it's preventable. Eye age could help doctors determine the interventions in order to extend the, the number of years a person lives in good health. You know, the whole thing is about living a healthy life instead of being disabled disabled or obviously dying. The immune system is critical, not only for predicting unhealthy aging, but as a mechanism for driving unhealthy aging. We take friendly fire. That's the missing link that most docs are missing in terms of arterial age. It's our immune system attacking the plaque in our arteries. So a technology like this would allow us to measure inflammation with maybe even a blood test. Very practical for a clinical setting. IH research is under the framework of the 1000 Immunomes Project at Stanford University in California. It aims to investigate how signatures of chronic systemic inflammation change as people age. CXCL9 cytokine is a promising inflammation marker. You remember the term cytokine, don't get intimidated by it. It's 50 cent word. It's break it down. Cyto meaning cell and kine meaning attractant. So it's a cell attractant in the immune system. Over a thousand blood samples have been collected in this Stanford University project. People aged eight to 96, they were analyzed. Participants with chronological ages and health information were incorporated into a machine learning algorithm in order to identify protein markers in blood that most clearly signal systemic inflammation. Immune signaling protein CXCL9 was pointed as a top contributor produced by the intima layer of blood vessels. You know what? Many of us could have told them where to look. We've been talking about Intima for how many years? It was previously associated with the development of heart disease. Here's some promising results. The IH model was tested on blood of 19 people who lived at least 99 years to calculate their biological age. On average, they had a biological age 40 years lower than their actual or chronological age. Also, it was observed that high levels of CXCL9, that protein cytokine, immune cytokine, drove the cells into a dysfunctional state. So when expression of the CXCL9 gene was silenced, the cells regained function suggesting the protein's harmful effects might be reversible. And as we all know, as we all say over and over again, with heart attack being the number one killer, heart attack and stroke being two of the top three, you're only as old as your arteries. Winning is exciting, but you know what? What you're winning matters even more. How about the chance to win another couple of decades of life, healthy life, understanding the cause of heart attack, stroke, dementia, the major killers and disablers, and how to prevent those. You can win these courses to do just that. How do you do that? Click the link below, watch the video, answer the questions, and the more you answer right, the better your chances of winning. Give it a try. Win things like free courses that can save your life.